Hello everybody, welcome, and in today's video I'll be teaching you how to sword fly. Sword flying is a mechanic on Destiny 2 that allows you to go long distances um, using using a sword instead of a sparrow, because some places you can't summon your sparrow, so you'll need this skill in such situations. Like the video I'd recently posted about going out of bounds on Zer's treasure hoard. Uh, so, I'm going to give you a basic rundown of how sword flying works. So sword flying is based along two things, catapult lift and lion's rampants. How lion's rampants works is it gives you improved aerial maneuverability. And it and does all this other crap that's good for crucible, but that's the, that's not what we're focusing on. What we're focusing on is the increased maneuverability which basically allows you to regenerate your jump while you're in air quickly. So, some genius person decided to grab out a sword to help delay that time in air so you can regain the uh, catapult lift while you're in air fast enough to use it again and just rinse and repeat. That sounds confusing, but whenever I show you how to sword fly, it'll make more sense. Uh, another thing is that once you jump off a solid platform you can't get above your maximum jump height there um, unless you land on another solid platform so so basically what that allows us to do is it allows us to go down and then using our sword we can get back up um, that is the basic explanation of it Um, a lot of mistakes are made in tutorial videos about sword flying, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you a few things that aren't said in the video. One, is that sword flying does not need to be quick. You don't need to just constantly be swinging your sword. You're going to waste your sword ammo, and more importantly, you're going to run out of jump. And once you run out of jump, you're screwed and will keep falling forever. Um, second thing. You want to start off with the sword swing instead of just starting off with the jump because the sword swing will cancel any downwards mobility, um, at least in my experience. So you can start with the jump though if you're not falling, but like if you're falling downwards, you're going to want to start with the sword swing uh, so that you don't waste your jump. Uh, and by the way, you do not need eager edge for sword flying. Uh, that's not necessary. But what you are going to need is a bunch of sword ammo, so some swords I'd recommend are like Lament, and then also just anything you can run with extra ammo. And the Fallen Guillotine I see be, being used a lot, so that that's also cool. Um, but any decent amount of sword ammo will do you well. You do not need Eager Edge, okay? Now, how you actually input Swordfly is you swing your sword, you jump twice, once to activate, and then the other to deactivate. Then you wait a second and swing your sword again, and then repeat. So in practice it'll look something like this. So, that's how it works. You just swing your sword, activate your jump, deactivate your jump. And the timing for it is crucial. That's, that's where everybody makes the mistakes. You're going to want to wait a second after you deactivate your glide to make sure that you keep the momentum and the upwards direction um, that you get from it. And sword flying is super useful for things like... Um, like say you want to get far into the map but can't access your, access your sparrow like on a lost sector uh, to get far down there you're going to need to use something like heat rises or if it's far enough you're going to want to sword fly um, sword flying is a super super easy and useful and honestly it just comes down to timing and after just like 30 minutes of practice you'll already have it pretty well down. It's it's really simple um, and it just replaces sparrow flying decently. Although sparrow flying has its perks like being able to gain an infinite amount of height. Something that 
sword flying can't do. Um, that's going to be most of my tutorial, but I'll still just show me going around so you can get a gist for how long you're going to have to wait and how long you want your Lion's Rampants active for. So, I'm going to keep this in regular speed and shut up. One thing about sword flying that's not frequently said enough is that you can actually fix halfway whenever you uh, swing too fast and start to get the uh, depressing jumps if you just wait a second. Then you'll start to get the uh, rising jumps. You just have to fix up your timings. You saw me do that probably twice on my way here. I don't think I'll be able to get much higher though because of my starting point. So I'm just going to spare fly up here. Uh, I showed this little spot whenever I did my Nessus Red Roof video, but soon I'll be remaking that video with my new knowledge on sparrow flying and just new knowledge on spots around the Red Roof in general. So come look at this. I'm on top of the uh, Well of Flame, I believe, on the cistern. Look at that. So that's a little fun. Anyways, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and you have a great day.